sixth grade, module one, lesson 10 classwork. Exploratory challenge. Imagine that you are making a fruit salad. For every quart of blueberries you add, you would like to put in three quarts of strawberries. Create three ratio tables that show the amounts of blueberries and strawberries you would use if you needed to make fruit salad for greater numbers of people. Table one should contain amounts where you've added fewer than 10 quarts of blueberries to the salad. Table two should contain amounts of blueberries between and including 50, 10 and 50 quarts. Table three should contain amounts of blueberries greater than or equal to 100 quarts. Okay, so let's start with table one. So we need to have added fewer than 10 quarts of blueberries to the salad. And let's go back to the original ratio. It's for every one quart of blueberries, you add three quarts of strawberries. So let's start with that. One quart of blueberries, three quarts of strawberries. Now we need to make this chart have fewer than 10 quarts of blueberries. So let's just do one, two, three, four, and five quarts. Now if we notice the relationship between one and three, it's for every one quart of blueberries is three strawberries. So we can just multiply by three. So two, for every two quarts of blueberries, we would need six strawberries. For every three quarts of blueberries, we would need nine strawberries. For every four quart, quarts of blueberries, we would need 12 strawberries. And for every five quarts of blueberries, we would need 15 strawberries. So now table two should contain amounts of blueberries including between and including 10 and 50. So we need to do between 10 and the largest is 50. So let's do 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So again, the relationship does not change. We still have the same relationship, so we can just multiply by three. 10 times three, that would make 30 strawberries. Times three, 20 times three would be 60 strawberries. 30 times three is 90 strawberries. 40 times 3, 120 strawberries, and 50 times 3 is 150 strawberries. And then lastly, table 3 should contain amounts of blueberries greater than or equal to 100 quarts. Let's do so it's just anything greater than 100. Let's do 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. Again, the relationship does not change, so it's still multiplying by three. So for every 100 blueberries, we need 300 strawberries. For every 200 quarts of blueberries, we need 600 strawberries. And if we just continue down the chart until we have 500 blueberries and 1,500 strawberries. A, describe any patterns you see in the tables. Be specific in your descriptions. So the main pattern that we saw is that the total number of strawberries is always three times greater than the number of blueberries. So let's say the number of strawberries is three times greater than the number of blueberries. So there are other observations we could make, like when we go down the column here, we're just adding one and here we're adding increasing by three. Um, in this column here we're increasing by 100 every time and here we're increasing by 300 every time. So there are other descriptions you can put in here to describe and be specific. B. How are the amounts of blueberries and strawberries related to each other? So kind of like we said above we can say that the number of blueberries or the number of strawberries is always three times greater than the number of blueberries. Let's say the 
number of strawberries is always three times the amount of blueberries. So that's an equivalent ratio. So it's always one to three, if you want to put the ratio in there. C, how are the values in the blueberries column related to each other? So this, it varies based on what you put in your chart. So here, we're in the first table, we were always increasing by one for the strawberries. In table three, we were increasing by 100 to get the blueberries. In table two, we increased by 10. So we can say table one increased by one, table two increased by 10, and table three increased by 100. D, how are the values in the strawberries column related to each other? So let's go back and look at strawberries. So here, they're increasing by three. We'll use a different color so we can. So here, they're increasing by three every time. Table two was increasing by 30 every time. And here, it was increasing by 300. So it went from three to 30 to 300. If we want to add seven quarts of blueberries to the fruit salad in table one, how can we use the table to help us determine how many strawberries to add? So it wants us to use the table. So one way we could do it is just extending the table. So if we had six strawberries, that would be 18, or six blueberries, that would be 18 strawberries. And if we had seven, that would be 21. So we can just say we could extend the table include six and seven blueberries and we would get Twenty one strawberries. And F. If we know we use seventy quarts of blueberries to make our salad, how can we use a ratio table to find out how many quarts of strawberries were used? So there's multiple ways to do this. Um, maybe you start with the one to three ratio. Um, you could see, you could multiply one and three by 70 to get your new ratio. Or you could multiply by 10 first, get to 10 and 30, and then multiply step by seven to get to 70, if that's a way that you wanna go. Exercise one, the following tables were made incorrectly. Find the mistakes that were made, create the correct ratio table, and state the ratio that was used to make the correct ratio table. So here there's three hours for $24. So if we did three, 
times what equals 24? That would be 3 times 8. 5 hours for $40. So 5 times what is 40? That would also be times 8. 7 to $52. Well, 7, nothing times 7 is equal to 52. So this might be a mistake. And 9 times 8 is 72. So it looks like the mistake is right here. And we just need to, to make that into the correct ratio. So this is going to stay three, do, 3 hours for $24. This will stay 5 hours for $40. But this is going to turn into 7 hours. 7 times 8 is $56. And this one stays the same. So the ratio, we could really choose any of these, but I'm going to put the ratio in simplest form. I'm going to put the value. So if we have 3 24ths, we can divide both 3 and 24 by 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So our ratio in simplest form is 1 to 8. And all of those are equivalent ratios to that value. B, we have 1 to 5, 1 blue to 5 yellow, 4 blue to 8 yellow, 7 blue to 13 yellow, and 10 blue to 16 yellow. So how do we get from 1 blue to 5 yellow? We would have to multiply by 5. 4 to 8 yellow, that would be times 2. 7 to 13, we really can't multiply anything by 7 and get 13. And then same with 10 and 16. Nothing times 10 whole number wise is going to get us 16. So these are all different ratios. So let's stick with this first one. If we have one blue, we'll have five yellow. And then if we had four blue times five, that would give us 20 yellow. If we had 7 blue times 5, that would give us 35 yellow. And 10 blue times 5 would give us 50 yellow. So our ratio, we have 1 to 5, and 1, one to 5 can't be reduced any smaller because if the numerator is already 1, we can't not we cannot make that any smaller. So our ratio is 1 to 5.